Hey guys, it's Miranda, and today I'm going to be bringing you look number three in my Urban Decay Naked Palette series. And today I'm doing this really dark, smoky look with the darker colors in the palette. Um, it's a really great uh, smoky eye to wear out at night. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, I already primed my eye with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And now um, the first color I'm going to use is Virgin, which is all the way at the end. And just put that in a flat brush. And put it in your inner corner. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is uh, Gunmetal, which is all the way on the end, which is a really pretty gray. Okay, put that on a fluffy brush and just kind of pat it on. Keep it on your eyelid. You don't want to go really up into the crease. This is a really pretty dark gray. So we only want to keep that on the um, the lid. Okay, the next color we're going to go in with is um, Creep. Oh, sorry, I took my fingernail polish off this finger. Anyway, Creep, which is the second over, which is just like a black with shimmer in it. And we're going to put that on a crease brush. Just a little bit. This is really pigmented stuff. Tap off any extra you have. And then um, we're going to put that in the outer V and up into the crease. And just keep blending and blending and blending till it's blended out like this eye. You can go in for more color if you need to. I'm trying to keep this into more of like a winged out look. I don't want to bring it down too far and I don't want to bring it too far up. Just kind of out more of like an oval shape. Blending, blending, blending. Okay, so we have something like that now, which is perfect. Now I'm going to go back in with that flat brush and go into Virgin and apply that as a highlight. And now I'm going to just take a Q-tip and I'm going to dab it into the gun model. And the reason why I'm using a Q-tip is because I want to give it more of like a smudgy look. And we're going to apply this under eye. We're going to connect the, um, the color from the top and just pull it down. And don't go all the way to the inner corner because we do want to keep it really light over there still. But we're going to go almost all the way over. And just keep going back and forth, smoking that out. You guys are more than welcome to use the crepe on the bottom. I just like to use the gray because it's not as harsh as the black. So that's it for that. Next for eyeliner, and this is going to be an optional point. If you want to go ahead and go in with your any sort of um, soft black liner, you can do that now. Um, you'll apply that and then you can sort of smoke it out with a Q-tip, just rub it back and forth and that will give you more of a smoky, um, undefined look. Um, I like to use eyeliner when I do looks like this. Just because it doesn't look um, quite as dark on me, it looks more crisp and clean. And as always, I'm going to wing it out just a little bit. Okay, and for the bottom I'm going to be using um, Urban Decay Liner in Zero. And what I'm doing with this is I'm sort of smudging it in um, to the lash line. I don't want it completely on the waterline, but just a little bit. I'm going to bring that almost all the way in. Just like that. And this is such a soft pencil that it goes on with no problem. Now if you guys want to, also you can smoke this out with a Q-tip, but I'm not going to do that. And then we're going to apply mascara, and I'm just using L'Oreal Voluminous. If you guys wanted to wear this for like a Halloween um, look, you could go ahead, or even if you just want to wear this like out to the bar and want a little something extra, you would um, apply your fake eyelashes at this point. Just do um, a thin coat of mascara, apply your fake eyelashes, 
put mascara on again and then go back over it with your liquid liner just so the uh, line gets a little covered up and it meshes in with your eye makeup a little better. I still have this funky eyelash that is like doing its own thing. Whatever. That's it for the eye makeup. We're moving on to the rest of the face. For blush, I'm going to be using just a really pale pink without any shimmer. And I'm going to be using um, the e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. If you have Well Dressed by MAC or Pink Swoon, that would be really good to wear with this. Just any sort of pink with no shimmer. You can wear shimmer if you want. I just want this to be more of a matte look on the face. But I do want it to be very pinky and cute and pretty and tickled pink. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I used my um, Dream Mousse uh, foundation today, and I think it might be a tad too dark for me. Um, you probably can't tell right now, so I'm either going to give it away or buy um, a lighter shade and mix the two together. So yeah, that's my update on that. And then for lips, I'm just keeping my lips really pale. When you have this much going on with your eyes, you really don't want to wear um, a lipstick that's going to have a lot of color in it. So use any sort of nude or really pale pink that you have. I'm going to just be using um, my Turkish Delight lip gloss. Okay, that is the finished look, and yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.